Is it Calkins? I'm just gonna say Calkins. John Calkins writes, please do a show on the history of fashion. I've been asking for weeks. Yes, you have, John. The only thing we can't figure out is why are you asking us? Okay, fashionistas, strap on your hip huggers and your lacy cravats. We're gonna tell you what you ought to know about what you wear. Just like any great civilization, fashions rise and fall. Just not all of them are great. You know, democracy dictators, democracy dictators, bell bottoms, peg pants, bell bottoms, peg pants. Hey, you know the emos used to peg their pants. Wear tights too. They're so punk. I mean goth. No wait, is it cyber goth? Whatever it is, every fashion trend is sure to recycle and then come back again. Even nudist colonies tried recycling the pre-fashion fashion. The no clothes kind of fashion. See? Came back. But you wanted a show on the history of fashion. Well, nobody really knows for sure how it all came about, but people fall into generally one of two schools of thought. Our first ancestors invented clothes out of necessity or embarrassment, and then it all became a competition. Grog has a bear skin, what have you got? A lizard skin, please. And so the fashion world progresses. We keep recycling old ideas until someone comes up with something everyone else likes so much it jumps out of the recycling loop and becomes more like a standard. Like how Queen Victoria's white lace trimmed wedding dress in the 1840s became the necessary apparel for blushing brides everywhere. Then there's the trends of the spin-off fashion cycles, like jeans. Once invented, everyone knew they'd stay cool forever, so we had to make different cuts of jeans that would come into and go out of style. But eventually for everyone, fashion comes to a grinding halt. The older you get, the more your looks become fixed, and you become fixed in your ways and your looks. Old women, for example, lavender, head to toe, nothing but lavender. And old men are no different. Eventually, they choose an era and they stick with it. So they're stuck in the 50s. Can you blame them? I mean, they knew it would eventually come back, so why go through all the headache of trying to remember what's in? I'll tell you what's in. What's in my dresser, that's what's in. And old people trying to dress young hip just doesn't work. I mean, just imagine grandma in hip huggers or grandpa wearing all that bling. My fashion counselors on YouTube tell me I should never wear this shirt again. Or was it this one? But hey, I'm not gonna throw it away. Someday ugly will be the new beautiful. But I don't have to wait for it to come back into fashion if I don't want to. I'm an unpopular straight male, which means I can wear whatever I want. That's all fashionistas, that's what you ought to know. I mean, you pretty much only have two choices anyway, give up or keep up. I think you all know which camp I'm in. I never really was very fashionable. But that natural look really is in fashion right now. Isn't it? Not pretty.